Mussorgsky's Pictures at an Exhibition is a shining example of musical imagination. First, you have Mussorgsky's piano solo version, which so imaginatively captures these, these paintings in sound. And then you have Ravel setting all of that to orchestra so imaginatively. It's like putting on 3D glasses. The, the ideas come out and grab you. So if you were a Ravel, how would you have set this tune on the piano? With which instrument? Ravel uses the saxophone. It's a masterful touch and a very exotic colour. Typically French, but the Russians loved saxophone as well. Or how about later when we have the oxen trudging away. You can hear that in the left hand. And then we have this solo instrument on top. Ravel chooses the tuba, one of the few tuba solos in the repertoire. And again, it's an inspired choice. Sounds a bit like a, a lost elephant, rather forlorn. Later on, we go back to the Mussorgsky original. There's a lovely touch as the promenaders, who are normally jolly as they sort of drink their sherry in between the pictures, and they sound like this. Chatting amongst themselves. Well, by the time we get through the series of pictures, they become infected somehow by what they're seeing. So they've just seen the eeriness of the catacombs. And so their tune sounds somehow affected by that. Just this eerie tremor. And then the tune in the minor this time. Very ghostly version of it. It's a wonderful touch. But the real piece de resistance is the finale, the Great Gates of Kiev. How will Ravel treat this wonderful piano sound? I have a recording by Svatoslav Richter where he drenches the air with wonderful piano tones. And you can imagine Ravel just clapping his hands and thinking, right, bring it on. And what he does is he throws all the artillery of the orchestra at it. There's a gongs, brass, harps, whatever he could find. And he does it to stunning and glittering effect. So which do you prefer out of these two versions of the pictures at an exhibition? Mussorgsky's version for solo piano or Ravel's realisation of it for orchestra? We'd love to have your comments in the section below or feel free to like or subscribe to these videos. Thanks for watching.